Hey guys, it's Empress Shay Shay. How you doing? Um, thank you guys for your likes, shares, and subscribe. And guys, I am so grateful to you for everything that you do for my channel. Um, I, God has really, really been blessing me. Really been blessing me. And I just want to let you guys know, be grateful for everything that the Divine Holy Spirit do for you. Even down to the smallest thing, guys. Um, I've been working on my book. I have a new book that's coming out. I've been waiting 30 years to do this, <laughs> but I have two books, but the, I'm taking one day at a time. The first book I have is my life story um, about my spirituality and how I become Empress Shea, Shea. okay? And um, I finally got a ghost writer, and I'm going to be working with them. While I work with them once a week, and I'm, I was working with them today. So this is why I'm just now coming on today so I'm just not uploading I had some things to take care of and guys not only that I see 20 people that have viewed for the five and ten dollar questions okay um take advantage it's going to be through Sunday okay that is my gratitude for you guys please keep subscribing okay we had 293 now we're down to 292 guys please keep subscribing so I can go live okay but um I was going to make this a divine masculine read. Oh, and guys, you can cash out me. My cash app is on there. But anywho, when you want to donate or whatever. But anywho, I'm getting a, um, a challenge from a divine masculine. This divine masculine, for some reason, I'm going to say a tarot tramp. Um, I say tarot tramp because I tell my clients this. You don't want to be a tarot tramp. What I mean by that, this person is watching tarot a lot. And I'm getting the challenge that this person personally thinks all this tarot is about them. I've gotten this, um, I've gotten this challenge before in the summertime. Guys, this is a very general reading. If you want a, if you want to, um, if you want to have a, um, a reading is personalized to your liking or personalized to you. You have to pay for a personal reading, guys. I mean, I'm just putting it out there. Don't be cheap and try to just listen to every general reading and think you're going to take something from it. This is general. Some general readings may resonate, but I'm just letting you know, most of them don't. Not personally to you. So I'm getting this, I'm getting this, <laughs> I'm getting this channeling that um it's a divine masculine out there and could be a divine feminine again take switch it to fit how it resonates to you but they watch a lot of tarot and they personally take it like a tax on th themselves and it's not like that this is what the holy spirit is telling me it's not like that they think this person is watching them or stalking them and how does this person know all this guys Anybody can be a divine film. I'm hearing this person say, well, anybody can be a divine film. No, they can't. You have to be chosen by God. You know the, the shit you got to go through to be a divine film? No, I'm sorry. Anybody cannot be a divine film, okay? I am going to do this. Um, at the bottom of my deck, this person is not using their intuition, okay? This person wants things easy for themselves. They are single. And whoever they're watching or whoever they wanting or whoever they think is talking about them, they're single. But this person is still thinking this person is dealing with other people. But I'm getting this divine masculine is dealing with more than three people. Okay? This is um, Scorpio energy. This is water energy. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. This person has walked away from this connection because of what they're feeling in their head. This is earth energy, okay? We have um, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Guys, I keep checking myself because I've been seeing my videos. I'm like, oh, no, I've been having too much out. I'm not used to having breasts, <laughs> but anyway, guys. But um, this person has walked away from this connection just because of what they're hearing and they're thinking it's all about them. Guys, this is really some straight fuckery and straight foolishness, Okay? This person, car, his or her car, 
is they, they car needs maintenance on it or their car is not working. They want to either meet up with you or come to your house or something, but they're unable to because they have a bit of car trouble. And I'm here, maybe they're having troubles in the judicial system with the courts or the law. Okay, see what I'm telling you? This person's all in their head. Two of swords. About some bullshit that may or not be about them. They feel like in reading these, I mean in reading these, in listening to this tarot, that they feel like, oh, so tell me what you really want me to know. This is what I'm hearing. Oh, go ahead now. Really be honest with me. This is crazy. This is what I'm hearing. This is what I'm hearing. This is the channeling that I'm getting. You know how fucking crazy that is? If I listened to every tarot reader on YouTube and said that was Emperor Shay Shay, I would be in the crazy house. So this person is heartbroken because they think all these readings are about the, them. Okay? This person is used to being in what we call struggle love. They're used to being in situations where you ever know how people say, okay, like me, I was in an abusive relationship, and at the time I thought, oh, that's love. Oh, you got to be with your partner. Yo, you can't separate. Oh, you got, you go, people go through stuff. Fuck that. Not that kind of shit. Okay? This is the person I'm picking up on. They have fucked their contract up with you guys. Now, if you watch my channel, yes, the cards are down here, but I don't really go by the cards. I go by my intuitive read. Whatever I'm getting intuitively. Just letting you guys know that. So, this person right here is sitting up, right? And this person had broke the contract with you and the universe. Because this person was sent a divine person to be with them. But they refused that because they have about three or more options. Didn't I tell you guys that? Okay? You're not going to control me. They feel like being in a decent, true love relationship is a control factor. They feel like the female trying to control them. It's some sick shit, dog. Okay? Then to top it off, they used to struggle love. Struggle love is shit that we go through things. Okay? A person in a normal, healthy relationship, yeah, you're going to go through things. You may not can pay your gas bill or your lights or something like that. You may go through a financial problem. But no. Not being in a relationship and then going fuck 10 people and saying, oh no, this is the way it should be. No. That's not the way it should be. Or when your spouse go, I'm going to say this. You can't go fuck around and expect your spouse not to fuck around. I'm being real. I, my, I, when I was married, my husband used to fuck everybody. And I watched him do it. Couldn't stop him. But you know what he was dumb at? I was on the other side planning, my, planning his demise. Not to kill nobody. And I'm not saying that. But what I meant is I was going to school. I was going to college. I was getting my kids prepared. Because I said, okay, I'm going to leave your ass. Okay? And when I leave your ass, it'll be no coming back. That's what I'm saying. People think that you're on the flip side and you're doing, and, and, and you don't know better. No, you don't have to tell nobody your fucking hand. And this is what's going on here. This person does not speak their hand. But then what I don't like about this energy is that they take shit in the wrong way. Then... They block people off and then they blow up on their own, they blow up in their own self head of shit that they hear other people say or they hear you say or whatever. And they take it to heart thinking they run with it. Yeah, this is going to be about me. That is ignorant way of thinking. And if you want to be in a healthy relationship and if you think that that's a control factor, that's very unhealthy thinking. That's why you stay in all this fucking stress. But see, this was in reverse. So now he's alleviated. I alleviated my stress by letting this by letting this person go. I'm gonna let this bitch go right here. And cause she was stressed for this is stress. No, you know what it's saying? This motherfucker stressed out because he have no do right in him. You know why they not stressed now? Cause they go with these other little bitches that is gonna be like, okay, they have no self worth, they have no self esteem, and this this divine mask can say he won't loyalty. If you want loyalty, you have to first be loyal to your damn self. Loyalty and love starts within self. If you have no self-love and no loyalty about yourself, how in the fuck you going to want somebody else to have that for you? 
Okay, guys, make it make sense. Think about it. Okay? And then your way of fixing things is just walking away and abandoning the shit? That makes no sense. We're grown. You have to communicate. Okay? But see, I done learned. See, a person that leaves you and abandons you and not say nothing. Because if shit don't work out from it down the road. See, when this motherfucker go walking down the road and when shit don't work out, they can come back. Because guess what? I ain't cut it off. I just left you in waiting. Fuck that. I'm telling you guys, I don't should have learned some shit. And they may or may not have a baby mama somewhere that they not telling you about. Okay? I'm telling you guys, look at this shit. This is a man with a baby mama. And he with this person because of money. This is Charles Virgo Capricorn. Look at this shit. But he's he's not happy. He's not happy with all these people he have. He really wants celebration with you. He really wants to reconcile with you. This person's in their feelings. I have all this this water on the on on the I was on the bridge. <laughs> but spirit is telling me this is water under the bridge. So I'm I'm thinking that this may be the past. Or maybe this is happening now. But look at this. This person wanna come towards you, but don't know how to do it. They're about to communicate to you. It's about to be real fast communication, but they don't know how to do it. Things are changing in a world. See, when I see the Eight of Swords, I see that things are changing in this person's mental. These things are changing where this person want to get away. This person want to move on. This person want to move on from whatever situation they're in. But they can't. You see that motorcycle, how that motorcycle is stuck in one place. This person is upset because you was their communication tool. You was the one they come to to communicate with. Okay? But now they feel like you're the queen of swords. They feel like you're standing your ground until you get what you want. Or you're going to stand your ground until you get what you want. This is what I'm hearing. That's Libra energy. Look at this. It was a missed opportunity. They always denied you. You wasn't good enough. That's how I'm looking at it. That's the energy I'm picking up. They felt you wasn't good enough because they are too lazy to do the work to be high vibrational. So they're putting it all off on you. Mm. Look at this. They all in their head. And what's sad, they think you backstabbing them. This is how fucked up this shit is. They think you backstabbing because all you do is fucking work all day long. And you saying, fuck it. Let the universe handle this motherfucking shit. If somebody do you wrong, you ain't got to speak on it. They get their karma. The universe is giving their karma. Look at this. This is the nine of wands. This person is doing too much. This person is mad, upset, ready to fight. <laughs> you guys, this is fucking crazy. All behind some motherfucking terror readings that they think is is them. But I'm going to tell you something. If you out there doing all kind of fuck shit, how in the hell are you mad at somebody that's not even doing it? This is crazy to me. Guys, these energies be wild.com. And look at this. This is the star. That's Aquarius energy. I'm going to tell you, this person is dealing with an Aquarius. This person is dealing with a Libra. I'm getting two energies on there. Look at this. This person, you also could be dealing with a Gemini. And this person is not going to offer you anything. And they know they're not going to offer you anything. That's the real reason why they're walking away. If you want to know. But they're not holding back anymore. They don't want to hold back anymore. This is stupid. This person mindset is all over the place, scatterbrain. One minute they want to walk away and one minute they don't want to walk away. One minute they want to hold back, next minute they don't want to hold back. But they're not communicating none of this shit. They're not watching you no more because it, it, it's upsetting them. So whatever they watching you, maybe they're coming by your house. I don't fucking know, guys. But they don't feel like you're worthy to watch. 
they're getting rid of all their options because whatever you're saying is hitting home. 